okay so this is the next video into our continuation of, of our fast jp series okay so let me activate my virtual environment so virtual environment has been, has been activated so let me start the app so just to see like uh, how uh, it looks like and uh, what we have to proceed now so application has been started so i have a app like look something like this we have the like home doc siri doc account disabled and we have the items option right and we have the account then we have the register option as well right so once the user can be registered here so user can registered here we have put all the validation all the error messages and if the registration is successful user can automatically route to the home page and with the message that is uh, uh, there is a successful registration right but in the last video like when i click on this drop down this drop down is not coming so there was a one bug and uh, what was that bug basically so if you go to the base dot uh, if you go to the templates folder in the base dot html so i put something like script tag here and script tag here as well so that is not required only like uh, whatever the script bootstrap script we are putting and uh, there is a one jinja2 template script block that's it so i have removed that extra script tag and after that like uh, this drop down is coming right so now the user has been registered so we have to create something login functionality right so in this video like uh, we will create only like login page and in the next video like we will like implemented the login actual functionality okay so login page will be exactly the same so it will be the email id and the password and there is a login button so what we need so we need uh, one route and uh, that is the login route right and if someone click on the login route uh, a login page should be like appeared and that is the get request right so let's do that so clear so first we need to create the route so i will go to the web apps and the routers right so till now we have the items route user route so let me create one more route auth.py authentication.py or you can say login.py anything so open the file so from fast api import api router we know like we are the using the uh, mini version of the fast api that is api router to create the routes so that uh, we can't put like everything into the main.py file so let's create the router api router okay now we have to create the get uh, get request right because when someone click here at the login so automatically like uh, web browser will hit the get uh, method router dot get and what could be the path login okay so once user will go to the login so some function will be uh, performed so let's say the function will be name login and some function will be performed right but what could be the function so as soon as like the person hit on this login tab a one template should be reappear html template so we have to return the html template but before that we have to define that from fast api dot templating import jinja2 templates now define the templates jinja2 templates directory is equal to templates right now we can return the template return templates dot template response and let's uh, the uh, template name will be login dot html and we have to pass the context dictionary request request but what is request we have to imp uh, like uh, use that as well and it is of type request so we have to import the request as well okay so this is ready but we have to create the login.html so this is a template so let me save it 
and uh, let me go to the templates directory and I will create the login.html alright so once the login.html will be appear so everything will be remain same like navigation bar will be remain same right so we will like uh, use the concept of the template inheritance base.html right and uh, block title and block let's give the title login page now we have to give the body part that is the main content part let end it okay so now we have to create a one form so let me put into container so that like uh, everything like uh, it should like appear in the middle so there should it should not like get stick with the borders right and let me close the div tag right so same thing like we will put something heading here like login here right now we will put the like uh, form so go to the bootstrap no bootstrap right click on the first link click on the docs that is documentation and search the forms here click on the first link scroll down so now we have the login page so copy this code and just paste it right so we have the login uh, like uh, page so let me format it properly okay so we need only two fields one is the email and the one is the password we don't need this third field we will remove this third field right and then we need the button right and the button name will be like login okay everything looks okay we don't need this uh, field as well we will never share your password so we let's remove that okay and uh, in the form so rather than this example email let's just give email and similarly in the password and we know like uh, we have to accept this uh, uh, value of uh, like when when the user will enter uh, uh, into the email address or the password we have to accept that so rather than the id we will give the name because name is a key so it will be email and similarly for that password as well and instead of id we, we will use name along with that we will like make it required so that we don't have to write uh, the python code to check whether the user has entered or not required required so looks our like login as html page is ready so let's save it now we need to go to the main uh, main.py file okay and we have to include uh, uh, that router so from web apps dot routers import auth as web auth okay and let's include that app dot include router uh, web auth dot router let me save it and uh, let me close this and let me refresh uh, refresh the page and uh, we don't have login but uh, let's go to the login so now we are able to see the login page and if i click on it we have the validation like please fill this field all right 
but we have here we have the register but we don't have the login so let's uh, like uh, modify the navigation bar HTML as uh, nav bar HTML as well so cd templates and go to the navbar.html and instead of the something else it should be now login slash login let me save it and uh, refresh it if i go to the account we have the register functionality so this is the user registration if i go to the login we have the login functionality here so in the next video we will see like once the user will be enter the email and the id and the password we will see like how to display some error message let's suppose uh, like uh, there is an invalid user id and the password so it will display some some message here error message here or if the user has been successfully logged in so it will display some like a message like login has, has been successful right and we will like uh, check the user and we will first accept the email id and password and we will check uh, uh, like uh, using the database query from the database whether this email id exists or not and the whether this password password exists or not right and then we will also like create a token because like uh, uh, every time user will not log in right so we have to create a JWT token because uh, if you remember if you go to the login so when you are when we are logging here automatically it is going to the login slash uh, token tag uh, and it is like uh, generating the like uh, a token here and one thing like I forget to check and we are like getting here login uh, a default so we don't want a uh, here login page so what we have to do we have to uh, like uh, uh, don't we have to like uh, exclude it from the open api schema so let's go to the web apps cd routers nano auth so here we have to mention include in schema is equal to false so that like uh, this uh, uh, login tag should not be included into the schema so I let me refresh it and if I refresh it so so I could not see the like uh, this is the uh, this is login slash token only but uh, slash login is not there now right and uh, our front end also working so slash login this, this is also working so everything is working now right okay yeah thank you uh.